All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 26. All right. So our current pattern won't work just yet. So this, and this is kind of a typo right here. It needs the uh, escape character in front of the plus, just to let you know. So this looks looks for the plus, minus, and space in order. So it, it would match this here because it's got uh, the plus, minus, and space right here. But it would not match this because it only has the plus and doesn't have the minus and space right after it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, to tell the pattern to match each of these characters individually, we're going to need to turn them into a character class. Uh, this is done by wrapping the characters we want to match in brackets. All right, let me read that again. This is done by wrapping the characters we want to match in brackets, all right? Uh, for example, this pattern will match the characters H, E, L, or O, right? So we would do conch regex equals, and then we have the uh, two uh, slashes for the regex, and then we've got the brackets here for the character class, and then we just put H, E, L, O in there, and it'll match hello because this will double up, all right? Uh, so turn, we're, now we're gonna turn our plus, we're gonna turn this thing pattern, this pattern into a character class. And we're gonna note that we no longer need to escape the plus sign character because we're using a character class, right? So let's go check out the character class real quick uh, over here at the MDM page. So we type in regex JavaScript, come to the MDM page, uh, scroll down a little bit and we've got the character classes guy. We can click either, either this or this, whichever one you feel like, right? So the first one on the character classes guide is the character class itself, which matches any one of the enclosed characters. We can specify a range of characters by using a hyphen, but if the hyphen appears as the first or last character enclosed in the square brackets, we're not even doing this part, but I'll tell you anyway, uh, it is taken as a literal hyphen to be included in the character class as a normal character, all right? So we so this one right here is doing like the H-E-L-O. Uh, this is the, just doing H X Y Z here. And then here's some examples. We'll get to that. We'll pretty much do the examples over here. So let's uh, wrap this thing up right here in the brackets like that. Let's uh, get rid of this uh, escape character right here. And that should take care of it. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 27. And we'll see you next time.